So in back of me is the Supreme Court of the United States of America. A lot of people think that is the highest court in the land. But actually, three floors above the Supreme Court courtroom, there is a gym with a basketball court. And that court is the highest court in the land. The Supreme Court building houses the Supreme Court of the United States. Also known as the Marble Palace, the building serves as the official residence and workplace of the Chief Justice of the United States and the eight Associate Justices of the Supreme Court. The main entrance to the Supreme Court building is on the west side facing the United States Capitol. On either side of the main steps are seated marble figures sculpted by James Earl Frazier. On the left is a female figure, the contemplation of justice. On the right is a male figure, the guardian or authority of law. Sixteen marble columns support the pediment above, which has the inscription, Equal Justice Under Law. The sculpture group was done by Robert Aiken. In the middle are three figures, Order, Liberty Enthroned, and Authority. Aiken modeled the other figures after several prominent people concerned with the law or the creation of the Supreme Court building. At the left are Chief Justice Taft as a youth, Secretary of State Root, and the architect Cass Gilbert. Seated on the right are Chief Justice Hughes, the sculptor Aiken, and Chief Justice Marshall as a young man. The cornerstone was laid for the Supreme Court building on October 13, 1932. It was completed in 1935, the first time the Supreme Court was housed in its own building in the 146-year history of its existence. The Supreme Court originally met in New York City, and in 1790, when Philadelphia became the capital of the United States, it was housed in Independence Hall and City Hall. When the U.S. Capitol moved in 1800 to Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, the Supreme Court moved again, but it was housed at different locations inside the Capitol building. In 1929, Chief Justice and former President of the United States, William Howard Taft, persuaded Congress to authorize the construction of a permanent home for the court. Architect Cass Gilbert was chosen by Chief Justice Taft to design the building. Neither Taft nor Gilbert lived to see the completion of the building. Construction proceeded under the direction of Chief Justice Hughes and architects Cass Gilbert Jr. and John R. Rockart. The classical Corinthian architectural style was selected because it matched nearby congressional buildings. Vermont marble was used for the exterior, while the four inner courtyards are of crystalline flake white Georgia marble. Above the basement level, the walls and floors of all corridors and entrance halls are made from Alabama marble. The court building cost less than the $9,740,000 Congress authorized for its construction, and in fact, $94,000 was returned to the Treasury. The main corridor is known as the Great Hall. At each side, double rows of marble columns rise to a beautiful coffered ceiling. Busts of all former Chief Justices are set alternately in niches and on marble pedestals along the sidewalls. At the east end of the Great Hall, on the ground floor, oak doors open into the court chamber. The statue of John Marshall, the fourth Chief Justice, is located at the end of the Lower Great Hall. Sculpted by William Wetmore Story in 1883, the statue stood on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol until 1981 when it was moved to the court. There are two marble and bronze spiral staircases that rise five stories and are supported only by the overlapping steps and their extensions into the wall. Few others like this exist in the world. Okay, this is the spiral staircase in the Supreme Court, but the cool thing is not down, it's up. I'm gonna get dizzy looking at this thing. Up.
While the Supreme Court courtroom was closed when we were there, it is open to the public and you can hear oral arguments, but seating is done on a first-come, first-seated basis.